going for like a mini walk. It is the first big snowstorm of the year, but it's like really pretty right now. Hang on a second, let me just, let me just show you. Look how nice it is. Look, it's so pretty. I love it. Match fizz. Oh man. <laughs> you get oh yes. Ah! <laughs> that was so good. Oh my god. The face of concentration. <laughs> right. It was nice earlier and then it just got overkill. I just got inside from the snow. My hair is soaking. Holy crap, look look outside for a sec. A blizzard. It's wild. It is 1.30 in the morning right now. Look how bright it is outside because of the snow. I had makeup all under my eyes for I to take my makeup off last night. I'm gonna be very sloppery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're very cute. You're so scratchy. This has already been going on for like two minutes. Very sweet boy. I love you. Thank you. Today has been the ultimate definition of a snow day. After the blizzard last night, I just took it easy today. I had breakfast and right now I'm just making some hot chocolate and I've been watching Disney movies all day. Just vibing, vibing for the day. so big today it's like full of secrets hi it is uh what's the date today i don't know what the date is october october it is december 10th i want to say that's nuts we're gonna do something kind of cool today we're gonna be making mulled wine i tried this recipe over halloween and it turned out really really well so i'm gonna fine tune it a little bit make it a little bit more Christmassy, and i'm kind of jazzed for it so i'm gonna show you how i I'm gonna I'm I'm show you how I'm gonna make it. That, that, yep, that's the one. My kitchen is not cute. Please don't judge me too much. But what I've got for um, my mold wine is a big pot. Cinnamon sticks, of course. Um, I'm using anise seeds because I do not have anise pods. They're very expensive and difficult to find in my area. Some ground nutmeg, which I love. Some vanilla extract, cloves, whole cloves, not ground cloves, you want whole. Cardamom pods, and of course, oranges. I'm just waiting for lemons, my red wine, and a little bit of extra liqueur, and then some honey to sweeten it all up at the end. So, it's gonna be good. Oh, and cranberries. We're also adding cranberries to it as well. This is editing Megan. I have no idea what this frame is. I am so sorry. I completely thought the pot was centered, but it's not. Anyway, pour in the bottle of wine while the heat is on low. I'm making a double batch here. So this bottle is the equivalent of two bottles. And then I added my liqueur. I'm using Appleton Estates rum. I added all my spices to this large tea bag so the seeds wouldn't float around. And then you drop it in and let it soak. Make sure it gets right in there. Add some vanilla, if you have real vanilla pods, even better. Slice up some oranges. I used mandarin oranges, four of them. If you want a less citrusy flavor, you can add fewer oranges. I also added lemons to my mix, but next time I'll just add a bit of juice instead of a whole lemon. The rinds add a lot of bitterness that I don't love. And then I added three apples instead of cranberries. These were actually a really lovely garnish and were kind of nice to snack on afterwards. After you have everything in, keep the heat on low, mix it all up and press on the oranges to release their fragrance a bit and make sure to move the spice bag around to get them to mix in properly. And I decided it needed more cinnamon. So in it goes to the pot. And then I added the honey. This looks like a lot, but it is a double batch. Basically just sweetened to taste. And then you mix it up 
real well, and then you let it simmer to get nice and warm. After about 50 minutes, I took out all the citrus slices and some of the apples to make it easier to scoop because it was pretty dense. And then I served it into some fancy goblets because you need those. Look at them. And that's it. Nice and spicy, warm, and sweet. It is perfect. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that is something. <laughs> Why do these exist? <laughs> We were in the middle of combat last yeah, we time. Were. Do you remember where specifically? <laughs> you were? Was it my you turn? Were, you were living it up with mm -hmm. uh, a couple of Oh couple yeah. Of couple of guys being pals. So we're fucked is what you're saying. No, you guys would be fine. Well, you guys would be fine. <laughs> uh, it depends on how long it takes this mummy to hatch. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at that beautiful unicorn. What a completely natural whisker. What a majestic boy. Not <laughs> Oh, you, you are the most precious, stupid thing. The last you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you look so stunned. Come on, lightning do it again. We're getting this many oh. deluges in a short period. It's I saw some. It is coming down. I don't know if you can see that. Holy crap, Ola. Oh, that was a big one! Holy shit! This is exciting. What are you looking at, buddy? What do your cat eyes see? <laughs> your tail going nuts. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm so sorry this ended so abruptly, but not a lot really happened towards the end of the week. So here we are. If you are also interested in making mulled wine, I did add the link to the article that I found for this recipe in the description box below. So feel free to check it out. If you do make some mulled wine, please let me know in the comments what you thought of it. I'd love to know everyone's opinions. I love it. Be sure to subscribe to catch the next video, which should be out very shortly. And I'll see you then. Bye guys.